Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to quickly discuss this question that came in today's S1 exam uh, on permutation combinations. Now, a lot of people have been confused about this, especially the last part of this question. Uh, so let's discuss this. Now, uh, the question statement is uh, not necessarily exactly how it was in the exam. I've taken this from uh, what uh, some of my students remembered from the exam. So but overall, the context is pretty much accurate. All right, so let's begin with this. Uh, so first we have to find the number of different possible arrangements of the nine letters in the word crocodile. That's a pretty standard one. Uh, look at the repetitions and the letter uh, and, and, and uh, these set of letters in the set of letters. You've got two C's there. And you've got uh, two O's there. These are repetitions. You have total nine letters. Hai. So the number of possible arrangements are going to be nine factorial and then divided by two factorial and two factorial because of those repetitions. So you have to evaluate currently nine factorial divided by four. That turns out to be nine zero seven two zero. That was the first. That was the first part. Let's look at the next one. Now, the part B said. Uh, that you had to find the number of different arrangements of the nine letters in the word crocodile that start and end with a C and do not have the two, East, two O's together. Okay, so you've got nine letters in total. And what you want is you want the letters C at, the, uh, at both the ends. So C is end on a chain, both of X are the C up to the ends. Now in the middle, you've got the remaining seven letters. Okay, so you've got the remaining seven letters in the middle. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes for them. C so move me, guys. Like that, only these seven letters in the middle can move. Now, let's try to think about what letters we are left with. We're left with the uh, R O C. No, sorry, C is already fixed there. R O O D I L E. These are the letters that we're left with. So ek aapko C ko end per karna tha, end per rakhna tha. The other thing that you need here is that you want, that you do not want the two, e, two O's together. Wo saath nahi hone chahiye. Okay. What we can do for this is we can find the total number of arrangements with O's together or per total mein se unko subtract kar de. O's together wala case aap subtract kar de. So usse pahle let's find the total without restrictions. Total without restrictions kya hoga? You've got these seven boxes. In seven boxes, ko arrange karne ke kitne ways hai? you've got seven factorial ways for that, but then you've got two repetitions, you've got O's repeated, Uske wajah se kya karenge? two factorials divide kar denge. and then you subtract from this the case when O's are together. Okay, O's together ka kya case hoega? Jab O's together honge, ab uske liye ek single box bana sakte ho. So you've got two O's in the same box, and then how many letters are you left with? You're left with five other letters, you've got separate boxes for all of them. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. You've got five other boxes. The total boxes get now get six factorial. Our total box is six. Okay, you've got six factorial arrangements for them. And then what about inside the box? Two O's, they are identical to unke arrangement. If you want, you can just do two factorial, but that's since they're identical, you'd have to divide by two factorial as well. And that gives you one. So this account for it not it doesn't really matter. Together, together ki arrangement ki probability of it ni hogi, so ki six factorial log. So total may say O's together well a case minus kar diya, and that's gonna give you the result. Take a seven factorial divided by two minus six factorial. That gives me eighteen hundred, and that's what you should be getting from the second part. Okay, let's look at the next one, part C of this. Now it says four of the nine letters in the word crocodile are selected at random. Find the number of different selections in which the number of C's is not equal to the number of O's. Achha, ab C or O ka number equal nahi hona chahiye. Or baki mein there's no restriction. So repetitions of C or O ke andar hi aari hai. Ya pe list down kar lete hai. You've got C, you've got O. And then you've got other letters. Let's represent that here as well. Now remember, when you repetitions, and you're talking selection, you're talking about combination. You can't deal with it 
डायरेक्टली आपको क्या करना पड़ता है मतलब उसको ऑटोमेटिकली नहीं ट्रीट कर सकता है यू हैव टू लिस्ट डाउन द केसेस सो आपको क्या करना पड़ेगा ये सारे केसेस लिस्ट डाउन करने पड़ेंगे इन विच द नंबर ऑफ सीज इज नॉट इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ ओस ओके ना देर टू सीज इन टू ओस की दैट इन माइंड एंड द अदर लेटर्स आर देर फोर फाइव आफ्टर दैट अब देखते हैं केसेस क्या क्या बन सकते हैं Let's start with let's say zero C's. C को ये भी ना होगा. What are the possibilities for O's? You can have one O, or you can have two O's. Zero C के साथ you got these two possibilities. If you got if you got one C, what about O's then? If if there's one C, you can have zero O's. You can't have one O because वो फिर equal हो जाएगा. One C के साथ you can also have two O's. That's the other possibility. And then you have Two C's with two C's, you can have zero O's, and you can have one O's. These are all the possibilities that you have. अब इसके साथ बाकी letters को भी देखें. Since you want four out of the nine letters, you have to make sure that the total number of letters that you're selecting that is four. तो आप total sum हर row का sum four कर दें. हर row के अंदर number of letters total कितना होना चाहिए four होना चाहिए. So in the first case, for instance, if you have zero C, zero C's, and one O. Then what about the other letters? You should have three other letters, right? Because total four are not there. Similarly, for the second one, you have you have two here. For the third, you'll have three. For the fourth one, you'll have one here. For the fifth one, you'll have two here. And then for the sixth one, you will have one here. Okay. Now you just add up all of these cases. In every case, every selection, every case, you have number of selection find. Kar le, and sab ko add kar le. Now of course, C's and O's are identical. So इनकी सिलेक्शन तो मैटर नहीं करते हैं बिकॉज इट डी मैटर विच सी यू सेलेक्ट और विच ओ यू सेलेक्ट से फर्क नहीं पड़ता दी ओनली थिंग दैट यू आर कंसर्न अबाउट इज कि ये अदर लेटर्स जो हैं उनके कॉम्बिनेशन क्या बनते हैं तो इनको देख लें आउट ऑफ फाइव लेटर्स इन द फर्स्ट केस यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट थ्री इन द सेकेंड केस यू गॉट टू सेलेक्ट टू एंड देन फाइव सी थ्री फाइव सी वन फाइव सी टू एंड फाइव सी वन These are all the cases that you've got. Now you just add all of them up. Five C three is ten. Five C two is also ten. Five C three is ten. Five C one is five. Five C two is ten. Five C one is five. You add everything up, and that's going to give you fifty. So is Kapke pass final result? Jo hai, this should have been fifty. Okay, that's the third part. Okay, now let's come to this part that. Has been causing trouble to most people. Part D, uh, and uh, a lot of people are getting you know many different answers for this. A lot of people confuse this for permutations, but this is actually supposed to be a combination. Of course, assuming that I've got the Gaussian statement correct, uh, hopefully. Uh, yeah. So let's think about this. Find the number of different ways in which the nine letters of the word crocodile. Can be divided into three groups. You are dividing those letters into three groups. Groups may divide कर रहे हैं. That's not permutation. That's combinations, right? इसमें order matter नहीं कर रहा. Now each group has to contain three letters. Okay, so आप three groups में divide कर रहे हो, and each group has to have three letters. And then you want the two C's. To be in different groups, C is different groups. We want to change C same group. Can't there? Can't come. Okay. Acha. Now again, remember combinations cannot combinations cannot handle uh, you know these identical cases very well. Here, pe O's be repeat over here, and C's be repeat over here. कंडीशन सी पे लगी हुई है लेकिन रिपीटेशन तो दोनों की हैं सी भी रिपीट हो रहे हैं ओ भी रिपीट हो रहे हैं तो आपको उन दोनों को कंसीडर करना पड़ेगा व्हेन यू आर लिस्टिंग डाउन द केसेस दैट यू हैव गॉट सी को भी कंसीडर करना पड़ेगा ओ के दोनों के केसेस आपको देखना पड़ेगा कितने केसेस बनते हैं ठीक है अच्छा नाउ व्हाट आई हैव डन इज आई जस्ट यू नो मेक मेड दीस ग्रुप्स हियर सो आई डोंट हैव टू डू इट अगेन सो लेट्स से आई हैव गॉट दीस ग्रुपिंग्स सो आई गॉट द फर्स्ट ग्रुपिंग लेट्स से अच्छा Let's try to think about this first. Let's think of C's first. C के क्या क्या possibility हो सकते हैं? Now you might think कि अच्छा एक तो ये हो गया कि first group में आपके पास C आ गया. You know that's one possibility. You have a C here, and then in the second uh, second group you write C. 
could see same group mein to nahi ho sakte they have to be placed in different groups this is one possible case let's say and then you could you might think ki acha ek ye ho gaya ke isme se aa gaya aur isme se aa gaya but think about this um, and you might think of another case as well c c as well but if you think about it it doesn't really matter which one of these three it is why because isme order to matter nahi karta na ki kaun se group ke andar kaun sa c hai so in each of these three cases all of these three cases are basically the same inme koi difference nahi hai why because do groups ke andar c aa raha hai ek ke andar nahi aa raha teeno ke andar yahi hai ab first mein aa raha hai second mein aa raha hai ya first or third mein aa raha hai that is irrelevant ऑर्डर तो मैटर नहीं करता ना कि कौन से ग्रुप में सी आ रहा है कौन से ग्रुप में नहीं आ रहा ओवरऑल अगर आप ग्रुपिंग्स देखें तो दो ग्रुप्स के अंदर सी आ रहा है एक के अंदर नहीं आ रहा सो ऑर्डर डजेंट रियली मैटर हियर तो आपको बस इस सीज के लिए आपको मल्टीपल केसेस बनाने की जरूरत नहीं है यू जस्ट प्लेस देम इन टू डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स एंड दैट्स इट राइट इट कुड बी एनी टू ग्रुप्स आप फर्स्ट और सेकंड प्लेस अगर जो आपने डायग्राम बनाया उसमें फर्स्ट प्लेस में प्लेस कर दें या फिर आप इस तरह कर दें एक ही बात है आप इस तरह भी कर सकते हैं एक ही बात है बिकॉज इवेंचुअली इट्स जस्ट टू सी स्पेस इन टू डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स जस्ट मर्जी ऑर्डर के अंदर दैट दैट इज इरेलीवेंट ओके सो यू द यू गॉट सीज देयर नाउ लेट्स थिंक अबाउट ओल्स अब ओ की क्या क्या पॉसिबिलिटी हो सकती है ना ओ पे तो कोई कंडीशन नहीं है कि वो एक ही ग्रुप के अंदर आने कि वो डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स के अंदर आने या एक ग्रुप के अंदर आने उस पर कोई कंडीशन नहीं है सो क्या पॉसिबिलिटीज हो सकती है ओल्स की लेट्स थिंक अबाउट दैट Now one possibility could be कि दोनों O's जो है वो एक C के साथ आ गए ठीक है This could be one possibility. अच्छा अब दूसरा वही केस बना लेते हैं C's के साथ Now if you think about it, अगर हम ये कर कर दें C O O in the second one, it's actually the same thing as the first one. Why? Because again in this arrangement you've got in in this uh, division you've got वन ग्रुप जिसमें सी ओ ओ आ रहा है और दूसरा ग्रुप जिसमें सी है इट डजेंट मैटर कि पहले कौन सा आ रहा है बाद में कौन सा आ रहा है ये दोनों सेम ही केस होते होंगे तो इनमें कोई डिफरेंस नहीं है तो आपको ये बनाने की जरूरत नहीं है सो एक केस आपका वो हो गया दूसरा केस क्या हो सकता है यू कैन हैव वन ओ विद वन ग्रुप दैट हैज अ सी एंड वन ओ विद द अदर ग्रुप दैट हैज अ सी ठीक है ये एक पॉसिबिलिटी होगी एंड देन यू हैव अनदर पॉसिबिलिटी विद दोस टू सीज एज इट इज अब आप क्या कर सकते हो यू कैन हैव वन ओ with a group that has a c and one o with a group that does not have a c right that's another possibility and then you have another possibility ki both of those o's are in the group that do not have a c ye aapke paas sari possibilities banti hain you've got 1 2 3 four these are the four cases that you've got theek hai Now let's think of the number of selections you've got possible for each of them. You've got nine total letters. Remember, now nine means the four to have placed. Cut it over. C's or O's to be done. Okay, master. C's and O's are no longer relevant. Okay, one minute. Cut it, master. What are we left with? We're left with the other five letters. Now, in five means, we have to do. Five means, first of all, first case. We have to see. We have to place two letters here. That's going to be five C two. and then the rest are going to be placed in in the third group it doesn't really matter up both 3 c3 ho jayega in the second case you've got one space in the first group five means ek letter wahan pe place karna that's going to be 5 c1 you have to place one letter in the second group that is 4 c1 baki four means ek wahan pe place kar diya and then 3 c3 for the rest so then you have 5 c1 into 4c2 4c2 four में से two यहाँ पे place कर दिए and then 2c2 for the last group and then for the last case you've got 5c2 here and 4 3c2 uh, for the second one because हमने two दो already place कर दिए you've got three left 3c2 and then you have 1c1 but now there's another complication and that is if you think about the second case You see these first two groups that I have here; these are identical. The problem with that would be that if I place, let's say, out of the remaining five letters that I have, if I place R here and D here, I would have I L E in the third group. 
But then there's another possibility that I have D in the first group and then R here, and then I L E in the second in the third group. Now, since the order does not matter, uh, it doesn't matter first group, since that doesn't matter. These two groupings are essentially the same because both are COD, COR, and ILE. Hai. These are both the same groupings. So what do you have to do to eliminate them? Since there are two ways uh, here which are identical, you'll have to divide by two for that. So basically it's two factorial because of the arrangements of these two groups. Because the arrangements don't matter. They are identical. Here you have to eliminate them. What do you have to do to eliminate them? What do you have to do to divide them? So we divide this thing by two factorial. So we divide this thing by two factorial. And it's the same problem with this fourth case as well. Why? Because you've got C here and you've got C here. And again, if I were to think about one possible uh, grouping that would look like this R, D, and then uh, I, L, and E here. And then if I think about another possible grouping in which I have I, L here, and then R, D, and E here, these are essentially the same because I, L, which is in this group, yeah, it's well group mein aaja. it doesn't really matter because both are identical. So it's in repetitions ko eliminate karne ke liye bhi kya karna padega? You'll have to divide this thing by two factorial. Okay. And now these are all the cases that you've got. These are all the possibilities. Now you'll add uh, the number of ways you've got for each of those cases. 5C2 into, into, into 3C3, that's going to give you 10. 5C1 into 4C1, that's 20. 20 over 2 is 10. And you have 5C1 into 4C2, that's 30. 30 into 1, that's 30. And then you have 5C2, which is 10. 10 into 3, 30 over 2, that is 15. And if you add all of these cases up, you end up with 65. And that's what your final result should have been for this question. Okay, so you end up with 65 here. Now that's what I think should have been done in this question, of course, depending on whether the question statement here is accurate uh, and that I'm not missing out any important case. If you think there's another possible case that could have been considered, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure that you check out other content on the channel as well. Uh, you'll find a lot of other helpful videos, especially on paper three. Uh, I've got quick revision videos on a number of different topics. You you'll find them helpful. And those of you who are, who are at AS right now, I'll be uploading a lot more content in the coming months as well. Uh, make sure that, that you check back later as well, inshallah. All right. I hope this was helpful. All the best for the rest of your exams. I'll see you in another video. Allah Hafiz.